Web App is the secret source that unlocks the power of the optimal audio ecosystem. It provides all the tools needed for system integrators and installers to easily configure commercial audio systems and present the end user with a simple, intuitive interface. Nothing could be simpler. Web App is hosted within our zone processor and provides straightforward yet detailed control for the installer and simple focus controls for the end user. In this introductory video, we will give an overview of some of the key features of Web App. Web App works on any device that has a web browser and is fully responsive to screen sizes from phones and tablets to desktops. The front page view shows the operator views and the pin lockable settings section where the installer settings can be secured. The zone section within web app contains the level controls and music source selection for the currently selected zone. Music sources are available in a list, each of which can be named according to the music sources connected to the zone processor. If a source is active, a green light will show. The selected music level and microphone levels are set by familiar faders and the overall zone sound level is shown on the meter above. Each of the named zones behaves in the same way with their own independent controls. The installer can also edit the user page for each zone, so only the controls the user needs appear for each zone. We will cover this later. Within Web App, you can customize the zone names to suit your venue for easy identification throughout the installer and user interfaces for music source, microphones, zones, line outputs, and amplifier outputs. At the bottom of this view, you can hide music sources and microphones. You can also hide the zone itself if it is not required in a particular installation. This ensures that the end user interface is clean and simple to operate. Each of the six stereo audio inputs has the option to enable a high pass filter to prevent excessive low frequencies at the very beginning of the signal chain. This functionality is also available on microphone inputs along with three further bands of parametric equalization. You can trim the relative levels of each input to ensure no large changes in volume when switching between different sources. There is a range of processing for every physical zone output via web app, be that a line output or amplifier output. Output source controls allow you to select which zone you want to appear on each physical output and whether each output is a mono sum or half of a stereo pair of that zone. The output presets on web app set up each output for the loudspeaker type you are using. Presets for all optimal audio loudspeakers and a selected range of Martin Audio loudspeakers are available. Note that for line outputs, no limiters are included in the preset, as these are dependent on amplifier selection. Web App's crossover functionality allows you to change the high and low pass filters on each output, to build active crossovers between subs and full range loudspeakers. The onboard limiter allows you to set a protection for your loudspeakers to ensure they aren't damaged and provide a long working life. The user EQ within Web App provides three parametric filters to shape the tonal balance of the system 
to suit the room and personal preference. A level trim control allows balancing between subs and full range loudspeakers, for example, or between different areas of one zone. Delay allows you, for example, to align sound arrival from one main pair of loudspeakers at the front of the room and a pair mounted further back to extend coverage. Amplifier outputs have the same functionality with the addition of the bridging controls. Bridging channels is easy with web app. A pair of amplifier channels starting with an odd numbered channel can be run in bridge mode. This gives sufficient output voltage to directly drive 70 volt circuits up to 200 watts and to drive low impedance loads of 8 ohms minimum with 200 watts of power. For example, here I am switching amplifier channels 3 and 4 to drive a sub 10, the preset for which now becomes available in the speaker preset section as does the Cuboid 8. The increased power of bridge mode means these loudspeakers can now be sensibly run from the amplifier's inner powered zone processor. Presets can be created per zone on the bookmark page, which captures the settings visible on each zone page. I'm going to create one now for my streamed music service playing at half volume. Routines are a method to trigger presets either at the zone level or globally in response to time settings from the built-in real-time clock. With the day of the week buttons, combinations of weekday, daily or weekend timings can be set for each routine which then trigger one zone preset for each zone or one global preset. I'm going to create one now for the streamed music preset I have just created. Within Web Apps Installer settings, you have the ability to view system logs to help with system diagnosis in the event of device or network issues, to upload latest versions of firmware as and when they become available for bug fixes or improved functionality. There is comprehensive metering here to check the gain structure through the zone and to be sure nothing is being overdriven. There is also a tone generator utility to assist with checking routing out from the zone to the rest of the installation. The passcode section of Web App allows the installer to lock out all the settings menus, simplifying the interface for the user whilst protecting the system from inadvertent changes. I add a passcode of my choice and now on the main screen you can see the settings button is locked and nothing can be accessed unless I enter my code. When a venue requires a fixed zone controller our zone pad range is the perfect solution, but if you find yourself in a situation where you need to integrate with existing control systems, you can set up third-party control of zone via OSC. You can find all the necessary details in the web app user guide. 